fake by Tolles, and he's throwing deep down the middle for Smith, and he's got him for the touchdown. Coming up on Inside BC Football, we'll talk to the coach Steve Adazio, quarterback Patrick Tolles, and safety John Johnson. We'll also take a look at an all-access practice and preview the Clemson game. It's all coming up next on Inside BC Football. Hi everybody, welcome to Inside BC Football. I'm John Mita Perel. Eagles striving for their third bowl under fourth year coach Steve Adazio. I had a chance to sit down with him to talk about the season thus far and what lies ahead. Coach Adazio, welcome to Inside BC Football. Great to see you and the season started on a good note. You go to Ireland, not so much in the result, but the fact that the program was in Dublin, that must have been a very significant moment for BC to travel that far and showcase the program. Yeah, I mean, I think there was a great experience to be had by fans, by alumni, by players. Um, I think that, uh, as you said, it showcased the program on a more national stage week one um, and uh, playing an ACC opening game. I thought, uh, I thought we played that game well. I thought we played fast and physical and really saw the things that we felt we needed to develop. I thought you saw that, and uh, obviously we had a great opportunity to win that game. Uh, we came up short on that game, but I thought uh, there, there was a lot of positive takeaways. You have two new coordinators this year, and Scott Leffler on offense and Jim Reed on defense. What have they meant to the program? Well, I think, uh, you know, Scott obviously is a guy that I've known a long time. We worked together at Florida. I hired him there. Um, I hired him at Temple. Um, we work well together. We understand, you know, philosophically we're aligned. Uh, Jim Reed's a guy that I've known for a long, long time, you know, growing up in the coaching profession here in the Northeast, highly successful guy as a head coach, as a coordinator, been to BC before, Massachusetts guy. I just, I'm really conscious of fits. And I think at Boston College, both these guys were outstanding fits and outstanding coaches. And I thought that that went, to, went together very, very well. And they'll be guiding a quarterback in Patrick Tolles and a safety in John Johnson, who are two anchors for your offense and defense. What do they mean to BC football? Well, I mean, Patrick Tolles has done a great job. I mean, he and Darius Wade have had a great preseason, a great spring, right? And um, um, I think their development has been fantastic under the guidance and the tutelage of Scott. I think they're developing as we speak. And I think, uh, you know, obviously that position is so critical um, to the success of what you do on offense. It has a lot to do with the leadership and, and the playmaking ability of your quarterback. On defense, John Johnson is the uh, quarterback of our defense, you know, in terms of the back end. He's got a lot of experience. He's a very smart guy. He's a heck of a player, been in a lot of battles, and he really helps to direct the coverage on the back end and make sure everything's coordinated back there along with the middle linebacker. So I think that uh, both those guys are, are in positions that can really uh, help, help their respective units and their team, and they're both tremendous guys. There's a showcase game coming up against Clemson on a Friday night at the Heights on ESPN. That is a significant mark for a program. Always great to play on Friday night, and I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, we're playing an elite team. You know, uh, in the side of the division we're in, we play a lot of elite teams, and, and Clemson's another one. Clemson played in the national championship game last year. They'll be here on a Friday night. They have a tremendous amount of talent and a lot of, you know, just a lot of great players. And uh, be an opportunity for us, once again, to line up against a marquee team. Um, and, you know, and that's a challenge, and that's a challenge that makes you better and helps you grow your program. So that's, we'll be looking forward to that, obviously. Um, you know, you look forward to the great challenges, and, uh, and, and we're going to have one in Clemson. You think back a couple of years ago to the big win over USC, that's something that I'm sure you, you still think about in terms of a, a real coming out party for BC, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think it showed uh, the ability to win a big game. I think uh, our kids to lock in at home and, and, and win that game. I think we had a little bit more of a veteran offense at that point in time than we do right now. Um, you know, with the help of Tyler Murphy coming in here from the outside in and, uh, and Ian Silberman and, and, and uh, Tymir Brown. But I think it led for us to have an opportunity to have a great season and, and, and a great upset, big, you know, top 10 win. I think uh, this year playing Clemson, we're a little younger, obviously. We're, we're very developmental right now offensively, defensively a little bit older. Uh, but, by the, by the, you know, obviously with the opportunity over preseason the first few weeks to continue to develop, you know, uh, obviously we're hoping that we can go into that game and, and, and execute at a high level in our home stadium. Coach, when you go into a home and you recruit a player, 
What do you look for? What makes the prototypical BC guy? I think it starts with character. Um, you're looking for a high character guy that respects and wants a great education. I think that goes hand in hand with coming to Boston College. I think you've got to want to earn a, a, a high power degree. You want to, uh, you know, be at a place that, you know, uh, faith is important. You want to be at a place where character is important. You want to be on a real team, a team that you're going to go in that locker room and you're going to want to hang out with those guys and those guys are going to go to class. They're going to do things the right way and on the field they're going to be tough and they're going to work hard. I think those are the things that you're looking for, fit. Just like I look for fit in coordinators, you know. Uh, I look for, you know, in players, it's, it, it, it's, it's fit because I think that's so, so important. Well said, I'm sold. My name is Patrick Tolles and I'm from Fort Thomas, Kentucky. Oh my gosh. Um, something that no, nobody knows about me is that I'm learning to play the harmonica. My favorite types of movies are the Harry Potter movies, specifically Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Favorite person to follow on Twitter is the fake John Gruden account that tweets during uh, Monday Night Football. If I could hang with any celebrity, um, Tom Brady, it would be Tom Brady. My favorite food are hot dogs. Favorite musical artist is Bruce Springsteen. If I was stranded on a desert island with a teammate, um, it would be John Baker because he would know how to survive. If money were no object, um, oh man, hard balls. If money were no object, I would stress a heck of a lot less. Tolls at the 45, looking, firing towards the end zone. Smith, he's got it! Jeff Smith, touchdown, Boston College! Fourth and goal from the four with the national championship perhaps hanging in the balance. Bays right, Dawson left. McDougal. yard attempt to win the game and end the Irish National Championship hopes. I am John Johnson. I'm from Hydesville, Maryland. My hero is my father. My biggest fear is not living up to my potential. Not a lot of things make me angry, but if I had to choose, I would say when people lie to me. What motiva motivates me to work hard is the success that I know I can achieve. When I was growing up, I wanted to be an astronaut. Two, one, boost mission and lift off. If I could be anything for a day, I'd be Superman. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Yes, it's Superman! My nickname growing up was Greedy because I always wanted more. My hobbies are going to the beach, relaxing, and being with good people. One thing I could not go a day without is my faith. My favorite fast food chain is McDonald's. If I had a warning label, it would say, don't come too close. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Patrick Tolls, welcome to Inside BC Football. Thank you. And you are a new face on the BC campus, but you've been here since January. How has the transition been for you from Kentucky? It's been good. It's been good. You know, the first couple months was a little slow, just kind of getting used to, um, you know, the differences, whether it's the weather or, or the school or the, or the teammates and stuff. But um, I'm extremely happy that I'm here. Um, I'm grateful that Coach Adazio gave me an opp opportunity to come play. Uh, I look forward to the rest of the season. What made you come to Boston College? There's a lot. Um, you know, I was uh, just I'm s looking for a chance, I guess. You know, I was really, really excited that Coach Adazio gave me a call. Um, I wanted to still play big time football um, in the Power Five Conference, and um, Coach Adazio ran a pro style system, um, which, which was important to me. And it was a Jesuit college. And with my Catholic faith, I hadn't been to a Catholic school since grade school. So I was excited to get back, back into that. 
What are the main differences that you've seen between the programs, Kentucky and BC? I don't know about differences, um, but I do know here that um, you know the, the team is so close. Um, it's a very tight knit group, and um, guys play for each other. And I think that's the most motivating thing. You know, a coach can tell you everything, and fans can tell you everything, but you play for the guys you line up next to, and you play for the guys you work with. And you know, in January, um, so. Um, you know, I, I've developed a great relationship with my roommates and um, the rest of the guys on the team, like John. And um, like I said, I'm very, just very thankful to be here. And you started with a bang in Dublin. You had a nice touchdown run. Take us through that touchdown and what that meant to you. Yeah, it was good. You know, first one in the BC uniform. Hopefully, there's a lot more to come. Um, kind of play, kind of broke down a little bit. And um, you know, I don't. You know, I, I would rather err on the side of throwing the ball. But um, when stuff opens up, you sometimes you gotta make a play, and I was able to do that. And you've done that a couple times, especially against UMass. Two big touchdown throws to Jeff Smith, 46-yarder and 36-yarder. Looks like you might have found a deep threat. Yeah, you know, Jeff's a really, really good player. I um, mean, you know, I, and I can't give him enough credit for how hard he worked this summer. Um, you know, position change, you know, physically and mentally is tough on a lot of people. I mean, Jeff really took it in stride and worked so hard this summer. And again, in fall camp, was kind of out, uh, you know, a lot in fall camp due to, due to minor injury. But, you know, he's came back hard and came back strong. And he's going to continue to be a really good player for us. Looking ahead, what do you have to do to progress and make this a better offense? Just continue to improve and, and be coachable. Um, you know, I mean, I trust that you know, Coach Leffler and Coach Adazio, you know, they're the experts. I mean, soaking up as much possible as I can from them, we'll, we'll continue to get better. And the Clemson game coming up on Friday night, you've played in very big games before in the SEC, but what do you think that game will be? How significant will that be for BC? It's showtime, you know, it's, everybody's going to be watching. It'll be Friday night, prime time, you know, lights are on. Um, you know, that's when the big players, you know, make plays. Um, you know, if, if you're a good player and you know, if, you, if you aspire to be great, then that's the time you got to be on. And if you're not, then, then you're not a great player. So um, we got to trust our coaching, um, get in the books, watch the tape, um, and we'll be fine come Friday. Patrick, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, Coach Adazio. My name is Laurie Lane, and I'm a big BC football fan. I wanted to know what you love best about coaching college football and how you and the team prepare each week for a big game. Thank you, Lori. Thanks for that question. Uh, what I love about college football is I love the camaraderie. I love the spree de corps. I love the fact that you're working with student athletes and that you have a chance to shape and mold and make a difference in their lives. And uh, doing something that you love together and competing together at a high, high level. Uh, in terms of preparing for a big game, I think it's really exciting when you have the different challenges and with the players you're coming together trying to put together a plan and then you're trying to execute that plan. And uh, you know, then when you experience the thrill of that all coming together in a victory and you celebrate that together in the locker room as a team, those are some of the great moments in coaching and in college football. And it's what really gets you up every day and drives you. Uh, opportunity to work with tremendous kids and watch them experience the great thrill of winning as a team. Here's the blitz picked up. Underneath pass, and it's intercepted by John Johnson. Nothing. Brewer throwing. Right corner end zone for Hodges. Intercepted by John Johnson. BC football. Johnson picked it off. Great to have BC quad captain and star safety John Johnson. John, good to see you, and you've had a terrific BC career. When you look back at it, what things really stand out to you? Um, I think just playing at all the prestigious venues that we played at. You know, we played at Fenway Park, we played at Yankee Stadium, and we just played in Ireland. So looking back at my career, I think a lot of guys can't say that they played at those places. So I'm, I'm happy that I got the opportunity to do that. As a captain, what do you have to do from a leadership perspective to make sure everybody's on the same page? Um, honestly, I think my job is just to be myself. You know, I'm an outgoing guy, a high-spirited guy. I like to keep practice fun. You know, I, I say happy, like two, Today I said it was Bloody Tuesday, Happy Tuesday to you. Keep guys going. I think just keeping the spirits up is my job as a captain. And you look at the rest of your secondary. You keep those guys, guys together as a cohesive unit. How do you think the secondary has come along this year? Oh, it's been so much improvement. Um, I think Coach Campanelli does a good job of keeping, staying on top of us and uh, urging us to be better. It's not okay to get blocked. It's not okay to just be mediocre. So I think the help from Coach Campanelli and uh, 
other leaders like Cameron Moore, Gabe McClary, they're doing a good job as well. So I think we're, this is the most improvement I've seen. And it's going to be a special moment for you in your final home game when you play UConn November 19th. You are the Jay McGillish Scholarship Award winner, number 31. Uh, traditionally, player wears number 31 in honor of Jay, who passed away in 1992. What does that mean to you? Well, when I hear the name Jay McGillis, I automatically think of character. He was a guy of such high character. And um, the guys that wore the number before me, Justin Simmons, Dominique Williams, they laid a great foundation for me. So I just want to follow in their footsteps and uh, make the McGillis family proud. And you certainly will do that. Clemson coming in here on Friday night, October 7th. One of the best quarterbacks in the country, if not the best player in the country, and Deshaun Watson. How do you neutralize him? It's all in preparation. We've got to stay on top of our film. We've got to stay on top of um, their players and uh, just diagnose, it, diagnose all the plays before they run them. That's, that's the best we can do. We've got, we got to have a good week of practice, play fast, physical, Boston College football, and I think we'll be okay. And what's it like playing for Steve Adazio? Oh, just what I said, fast and physical. He makes sure that everyone is tough. We're tough relentless and we got to fly to the ball. He makes me want to light my hair on fire. He says he wants us to play with our hair on fire, but I actually want to light my hair on fire playing for him. <laughs> We're not going to light any matches here, but that's, that's an interesting comparison. He's John Johnson. We thank you. Good luck the rest of the way. Coming up, we'll take a look inside a Boston College practice. So stick around. Get your hands inside. Your thumbs up, elbows together. Sit in. That's it. That's a wrap. Let's go, 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 go
We call it Purple 61. Same lock slot. Now it's just a new number we put in. Ain't going to be any violence. Get off! Good job, Atem. Good job. Come on, Dave. Get out of there. Nobody. Come back. Get out Come on, Dave. Fun, yeah. Why not every day? Why not? It's hard, it's nasty. You compete, you're pissed, you're grinding, right? Right? Did you feel that? Okay, I just don't want to come over here now. Let's go to Scouts and run another play. Everybody just absorb that for one second. It's not going to be pretty all the time. It's not going to be exact all the time, okay? But what it's got to be is fast physical with unbelievable fundamentals. We gotta charge and gain ground. Backs have gotta pour their heart and soul and their legs and their power into runs. It changes the demeanor of a game. It changes the demeanor of a defense. When a defense feels a back coming at them, okay? The whole thing has changed. That's the power run game. That's the pro style offense, okay? Inside BC Football is brought to you by Allstate, Coldwell Banker, WB Mason, and Xfinity.